Hi everyone, it's Jen from Jen's Junk Journal Gems. I know I haven't posted for a while. I did get busy around the homestead this summer and I'm not very often at my craft desk. So, uh, what I am going to do today, and I thought I would bring you along, is over the summertime, um, uh, I love all things nature. So, uh, what I did was, this monarch, poor monarch, flew into the grill of my car this summer and uh, was dead by the time I got home. It actually just kind of collapsed. So what I did was I brought her in and um, the body was quite thick. So what I did was I just, um, you know, took her wings and, uh, and then um, put them in uh, just a piece of plastic here. What I'm going to, oh, and also, before I forget to show you, this dragonfly was at the bottom um, deceased uh, from my recycle bin. So um, I grabbed it and I bagged it. It was already dry like this. So um, what I'm going to do with these for my purposes today is I'm going to be making um, bookmarks. And what I plan on doing is incorporating the wings and my uh, dragonfly there in another one. Um, yeah, so you can also actually use this for pockets uh, in your junk journals, um, whatever. Uh, but today, for the purpose of the video, I am going to be making myself a bookmark. So I've got my wings here very delicate. Then what I did was I went and bought, and I thought to myself, if I just use regular plastic, it might yellow. So what I did was I ordered this from Amazon, and um, it's a, a clear film, uh, transparent, and it is archival. So it's, you know, it says here, heat resistant, ink resistant, cuts clearly, whatever. But the archival is really the, the point that I wanted to um, make with this, is that it's not going to yellow over time. So I got that, and what it is, it's just all kinds of sheets with layers of very thin um, tissue paper in between. I can't remember how much it was, but on Amazon. And that'll last me probably my lifetime of crafting. So, I have one of those sheets here, and in, I do apologize in advance if there's any kind of glare, because I am going to be working with this today. I'm going to try and be mindful um, of the camera and, and how it's showing. Um, all right. What I did was I wanted to select something, uh, a background pattern. I ended up selecting this one. Um, I didn't want something too busy. I didn't want some, I, I mean, I could have gone just with a, a solid color because obviously the colors of these wings are like just magnificent. Um, but I thought that against this background would be rather nice. So what my intention is, uh, step by step, is I think I'm going to be doing one wing I haven't decided yet, one wing per bookmark. I mean, you can certainly, if you were doing a, a larger pocket, you can incorporate all four wings. Um, but I really want to get the most out of what I have here. And I do only have the four pieces. So haven't made that decision yet. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using, hold on, bear with me, whoopsie. I'm going to be using my X-Acto um, knife and this self-healing X-Acto pad. I do have a, a, a previous video on this. Uh, it's a very short video uh, where I show how this, uh, how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how wide I want my bookmark. Then I'm going to um, cut out, I'll put this at the bottom cut out um, exactly how big I want my window and then I'm going to turn the piece over and um, attach one piece of this archival 
Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of glue, add the wing, and then I'll put another piece of archival and then another piece over top. So I'm going to have the square here at the back, um, but I'm going to have to cover that up and I'll probably likely do that in just a solid color. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Um, that's my intention. I'm going to just give the video a pause while I do all of my cutting because uh, I don't want this to be a very cumbersome video. I just want it to be more of a tutorial. So let me pause the video. I'll do my cutting and I'll be right back.